Hi, I'm John Pucci. I am from the Department of Homeland Security. Um, and for your local people, you know, I have to follow the Navy that has hundreds of millions of dollars in SBIR. I have about 20 million. So think of him as Amazon and me as Powell's bookstore. We do it better. We, we address you specifically as, as a customer. <laughs> Um, so, uh, most of you are familiar with Homeland Security, preventing terrorism, managing and securing our borders, uh, enforcing immigration laws, uh, securing cyberspace, and looking out for national preparedness and resilience, mostly through FEMA. Uh, so some of our organizations, as I said, FEMA, Customs and Border Protection, U.S. Coast Guard, TSA, you have the guys at the airport, uh, ICE, uh, NDPD, Secret Service, Countering Weapons of Mass Destruction Office, uh, and uh, first responder communities throughout the country. Um, we added this slide recently. I don't think you can read it now, but when you get the handouts, uh, it points out that Coast Guard saves 10 lives a day and is involved in 45 search and rescues every day. Um, we, through Customs and uh, Enforcement and Border Protection, we recapture billions of dollars a year in currency that is crossing borders illegally. Um, 200, uh, 2 million passengers a day through TSA, 100 mil, or, uh, 1 million pieces of luggage every day, that's a lot of stuff to go through. Um, helping train uh, law enforcement throughout the country, state, local, tribal, etc. And then also putting money into the communities for uh, disaster re relief and protection against disasters and preparedness. Some of our goals these days, uh, screening at speed in the airports. Be nice to not have to wait online at all. But uh, the reality is we have to go through screening. We're trying to make it easier, trying to make it quicker, trying to make it less intrusive. Um, the trusted cyber uh, future. Um, on the previous slide, there are 1,900 warnings that we send out every day you know, in, in, on these things. Um, enabling the decision maker, not, you know, at the, at the federal level, but also at the state and local level. Uh, responder of the future, giving the protections for firefighters, for police officers, etc., to make sure they have the right equipment, including communications, uh, situation awareness, um, to do their jobs right. And again, resilient communities, not only preparing for disasters, but being ready to, to recover from disasters quicker. Recent topics, um, I go through uh, search and rescue using uh, cell phone detection um, and talk to some people about uh, some of the other things. Um, you'll see human systems for uh, computed tomography. That's actually 3D scanning of your stuff at the airport. It takes longer to do, but it'll capture most things. Over time, that'll shorten things if we do it right. And uh, what seems to be the favorite as I talk about it, do not spoof modern uh, services for modern telephony. Getting rid of all the fake robocalls on your cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you, I get about five or 10 a day. Um, and then DNDO, you'll see, they're actually now called the uh, Counter and Weapons of Mass Destruction Office. They've incorporated some other things. These are some of their recent topics. And again, I don't expect you to be able to read them, but, um, but uh, you'll be able to see them later. Our phase ones, yes, as everybody else, are, they're $150,000. And even within our own, uh, our own agency, the phase twos are $750,000 through our S&T directorate, a million dollars through CWMD. And as I pointed out, we have roughly $20 million budget. Um, it's actually a little higher this year. Um, but we do seven to, ten, you know, seven to 14 topics each year. Might be a little higher this coming year. Historically, we put out our solicitation in early December. I don't know that it's definitely gonna be early December, but that's still the target this year. Okay, and uh, there's our contact information if you wanna reach out to us. Thank you very much.